Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just want to share a, a few things about Pastor Russell, who was uh, the founder of um, the Jehovah's Witness. And it, I will just give some facts as to um, the disreputable, disreputable nature of this pastor who started the Jehovah's Witness movement and um, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society or was involved in the formation of these things. Pastor Russell was born on February 16th, 1852. He was the son of Joseph L. and Anna Elysia Russell and spent most of his early years in Pittsburgh and Allegheny, Pennsylvania. At the age of 25 he was a manager of several men's furnishing stores. Uh, in his youth he rejected the doctrine of eternal punishment and then in 1870 at the age of 18 Russell organized a Bible class in Pittsburgh which in 1876 elected him pastor of the group from 1876 to 1878 the pastor was assistant editor of a small Rochester New York monthly magazine but he resigned with, with a controversy Russell over um, the doctrine of the atonement. After leaving his position Russell founded the Herald of the Morning in 1879 which became the watchtower announcing Jehovah's Kingdom. After 6,000 initial, initial issues the publication has grown to 17 million copies per month in over 106 languages. The other Watchtower periodical, Awake, has a circulation of 15 million per month in 34 languages. It is true that this magazine has grown until it has surpassed even Russell's fondest dreams. So that's just a little bit of a Pastor Russell. What I want to share with you now is um, some information from a, a, a newspaper clipping concerning Pastor Russell uh, which shows him involved in dishonest financial dealings okay a year after the put this publication this is in the Eagle uh, a newspaper of the time of Pastor Russell a year after this publication, the Watchtower had been established. Russell married Maria Akeley in Pittsburgh. She had become interested in him through his teaching, and she helped him in running the Watchtower. Two years later, in 1881, came the Watchtower Bible Tract Society. The agency through which, in later years, Pastor Russell's sermons were published as advertisements in newspapers throughout the world. This society progressed amazingly under the joint administration of husband and wife, but in 1897 Mrs. Russell left her husband. Six years later in 1903 she sued for separation. The decree was secured in 1906 following sensational testimony and Pastor Russell was sc scored by the courts. There was much litigation then that was quite undesirable from the pastor's point of view regarding alimony for his wife but it was settled in 1909 by the payment of 6000 pounds six thousand dollars to mrs russell the litigation revealed that pastor russell's activities in the religious field were carried on through several subsidiary societies and that all of the wealth that flowed into him through these societies was under the control of a holding company in which the pastor held nine hundred and ninety dollars of the one thousand capital and two of his followers the other ten dollars thus russell apparently controlled the entire financial power of the society. The Eagle column goes on to say, after the work had been well started here, Pastor Russell's Watchtower publication advertised wheat seed for sale at one dollar a pound. It was styled Miracle Wheat and it was as asserted that it would grow five times as much as any other brand of wheat. There were other claims f made for the w wheat seed and the followers were advised to purchase it the proceeds to go to the watchtower and be used in publishing the pastor's sermons the eagle first made public the facts about the new venture 
of the Russellite said it published a cartoon picturing the pastor and his miracle wheat in such a way that the pastor Russell brought, brought suit for libel asking 100,000 damages. Government departments investigated the wheat for which one dollar a pound was asked and agents of the government were important witnesses at the trial of the libel suit in January 1913. The miracle wheat was low in government tests they said. The eagle won the suit. The newspaper. The court's decision vindicated the newspaper. The Eagles goes even further and declares that at the trial it will show the pastor Russell's religious cult is nothing more than money making scheme. The Eagle newspaper then writes this All during this time the pastor's sermons were being printed in newspapers throughout the world, notably when he made a tour of the world in 2012 and caused accounts to be published in his advertised sermons telling of enthusiastic greetings at the various places he visited. It was shown in many cases that the sermons were never delivered in the places that were claimed. For the benefit of any jealous witness who may think that the miracle wheat fraud is an invention of the jealous religionists who are trying to defame the pastor's memory, we document the scandal trial and verdict as follows. So you can look at uh, the Brooklyn Daily Eagle, uh, the Miracle s s Wheat Scandal, January the 1st, 1913, 1-2 um, issue, okay? So that's uh, some information there about Pastor Russell from the Eagle, um, the magazine or n sort of newspaper um, that reported on Pastor Russell and it was not about people trying to defame Pastor Russell, it was just facts about about his misdealings financially and um, if you're influenced by the Jehovah's Witness you need to think about these things that that the Jehovah's Witness is a cult. It was founded on a false prophet. And um, please, please be open-minded. Read the scriptures with a new vision. And, and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you, please. Thank you for listening. And God bless you.